Hey everyone, my name is Asta Chauhan. Welcome to the Tutorials Point. We have already covered the first part that is supervised machine learning algorithm. And in this video, we are going to start unsupervised machine learning algorithm. So let's see what's in for you in this video. We are going to look at unsupervised learning, types of unsupervised learning, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of unsupervised learning. So first, let's talk about unsupervised learning. From definition, in unsupervised learning, we train the machine using the data which is unlabeled and the model itself finds the hidden patterns and insights from the given data. What we have discussed in the supervised learning is that that we provide some labeled data to the model and we train the model on that data, on that labeled data. And after the training, when we provide some new data point to the model, it will predict the outcome according to that. But in unsupervised learning, we provide the unlabeled data to the model and model itself finds the hidden patterns or insights from that data and gives us that as outcome. Now, let's understand this with this example. Let's say this little guy is our model and we are providing some unlabeled data to this model. The model is interpreting and dividing that into two groups a group of basketball and a group of football. For this classification, it may use some similarities or dissimilarities like the color of the ball, the pattern of the line on the ball, or it is played by the foot or the hand. It can be anything. Now let's talk about the types of unsupervised machine learning algorithm. There are two types. First is clustering and second is association. So what is clustering? From definition, clustering is a method of grouping the objects into clusters such that objects with most similarities remains into a group and has less or no similarity with the objects of the another group. In simple language, all the objects that lies in one cluster have more similarities than the other objects that lies in the another cluster. Let's understand the clustering with this example. We have unlabeled data. In this case, we have a group of balls. When we provide this data to the model, it is dividing this into three groups, a group of basketball, a group of football and a group of baseball. Model did this by finding some similarities or dissimilarities from the given data. Now, what is association? From definition, association used for finding the relationship between the variables in the large database. It determines the set of items that occurs together in the database. Let's understand this with an example. Here are some combination of foods that a person buys from a shop, for example, butter, egg, bread, egg, butter, milk, etc. And we input this in our model. And model is predicting that the combination of butter plus bread are the most frequently bought items. So this is how association works. Now here are some unsupervised machine learning algorithms, k-means clustering, hierarchical principal component analysis, anomaly detection, association rule learning. And we are going to discuss about these algorithms in further videos. So stay tuned with tutorials point. Now, what are the advantages of the unsupervised learning? Unsupervised learning is used for complex tasks. It helps in finding patterns in the data and also it saves a lot of manual work and expense. Now, let's talk about the disadvantages of unsupervised learning. It is less accurate, it is also time consuming and more the features and more will be the complexity. So that was it for this video. We have already covered the first part that is supervised machine learning algorithm in which we covered the KNN algorithm, decision tree, linear regression, support vector machine, random forest, knife base, logistic regression and unsupervised machine learning algorithm in this video. And rest all the machine learning algorithms we are going to discuss in further videos. So stay tuned with tutorials point. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.